everyone, I'm Lee from Eden Prairie Library here with another wonderful story for you to read with your family um, to go along today with our wonderful uh, art activity. So today I've got a wonderful book called Grandma's Tiny House by Janae Brownwood and it's kind of a counting story, family counting story, so I hope you enjoy it. Let's read together. Grandma's Tiny House by Janae Brown Wood. Tiny in size, at the edge of Brown Street sits Grandma's old house where we all go to meet. There's Grandma's tiny house. You can see Grandma in the window. Grandma's house stays small as the family grows. Will everyone fit inside this time? Who knows? Look at all of the members of Grandma's family. Let's see if they all will fit. One Grandma waits in her big easy chair. Well, two turkeys send scrumptious smells through the air. Mmm, two turkeys. Let's see. Three neighbors knock on the brown wooden door with four pots of hot greens and ham hocks galore. Mm -mm. Here's the neighbors coming, they're bringing some more food. Five family friends strut straight up the stairs with six dozen biscuits and jam made of pears. Should we count the family friends? There's one, two, three, four, five, five family friends, and they've got six biscuits. Mm. Seven cool uncles stroll up in a line with eight jugs of lemonade, ice cold and fine. Yum, yum, lemonade. Nine chatting aunties. I'll head for the den and set down the cheesecakes that add up to 10. <gasps> Yum, cheesecakes. Should we count the cheesecakes? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Mm, they look so delicious. Which one do you think you'd want to try? Maybe I'd try this chocolate looking one. Looks very yummy. Let's see. Eleven nephews join in, slapping high fives and fumbling twelve sweet potato pies. Yum, yum. Thirteen thrilled nieces burst in on the scene with fourteen fresh honeydew, juicy and green. Even more food to bring to Grandma's house. And who is that running? Last but not least, 15 hungry grandkids stampede to the feast. Oh my goodness, so many people are coming to grandma's house. That's when the walls bulge. There is no more space. How will we all eat in this too tiny space? Oh my goodness, look at all of her family. Quite a nice big family. I know. What do you think's gonna happen? What do you think she's gonna tell Grandma? We've stuffed this old house, but the yard's long and wide. Why don't we move our big dinner outside? Good idea. So out skip the neighbors, nephews and nieces, nibblings and uncles and aunts, love dinnerware pieces. Friends grab the tables, grandkids grab the chairs, the rest bring the food down grandma's back stairs. Everyone's pitching in together to help. Perfect in size at the edge of Brown Street sit gra sits grandma's backyard where we all go to eat. Yum, yum, the end. That was a really fun story and I loved reading about all the food. So I thought we could do a rhyme together and this one is called At the Kitchen Door. 
and it goes it's a counting one too so we're gonna count to four and then we're gonna say who's at the kitchen door and you can use your favorite food or someone in your family's favorite food for the next part so we'll use mine for the first one we'll do me it goes like this one two three four Lee is at the kitchen door five six seven eight eating pizza off a plate pizza is my favorite thing what are your some of your favorites you can say some of other people's so we'll do it again and this time we'll use a cousin okay one two three four cousins at the kitchen door five six seven eight eating strawberries off a plate mm -mm, strawberries Let's do it one more time. Let's do with grandma. What do you think grandma's favorite food is? Maybe turkey or sweet potato pie? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Grandma's at the kitchen door. Five, six, seven, eight. Eating sweet potato pie off a plate. Give yourselves a round of applause. Good job, everyone. And I hope to see you next time for more stories together. Bye.